Hello there my fellow Hollow Table Heroes and welcome to another 5v5 Grand Arena live stream. And it's a rare opportunity we get to face uh, one of our guildmates so I'm like I have to absolutely find some time uh, to live stream. And because I am traveling tomorrow all day I would struggle to even find time to play let alone record or live stream. I'm doing it on Friday night, uh, I would prefer Saturday, also probably for many of you out there, Saturdays are better. Friday evenings, right after work, you want to be with your f uh, family and friends or something. But you know, it's what we can do here, you can always watch replay uh, tomorrow if you're not available for a live stream. So have, how is everybody doing? Uh, let's see who's in the chat, so we got Scott, this is where the fun begins. Uh, I sure hope so, it's gonna be a fun one today. Uh, Wukang says, what up BD, thanks for all the Galactic Challenge vids and the stuff you do on your site. Uh, good luck today, thank you my friend, I will definitely, definitely need a lot of luck today. We got Jared in the chat, cheers Bid Dynasty, thank you for all your videos, you're my first stop when I have Galactic Challenges, Conquest questions. Good to hear you find all that content useful, lots of energy goes into creating that, especially Conquest and things like that, so good to hear you found it helpful. Hey John, John says good luck, thank you, thank you. We got Python as well, hopefully this will be a good match among guildmates. I sure hope so, well it's gonna be fun, you know, it's always more fun to play uh, versus opponents that you kind of know uh, instead of like a random guys, right? So it's always gonna be fun. Uh, Rob's Mad World, you got this. Well, I got it, the question is how I got it, right? <laughs> uh, Stefan. Well, hello there. Hello there to you, Stefan, as well. Um, so we still got a few minutes, I guess, before Grand Arena starts. Um, so let's see. In the meantime, maybe I can just do my dailies while we wait. I just wanted to start a little bit earlier, um, just so that as soon as, you know, the clock strikes on the dot, we can just go in and start, obviously, uh, doing some attacks. Um, obviously a bit of a disadvantage here, uh, live streaming, uh, you know, showing what I used on offense. Um, so my guildmate will have advantage from the side of things because he will see what I used. So he will be able to, you know, make conclusions what's hiding in my back zone. So there won't be any surprises for him at all. But to be fair, he did say like that, you know, he kind of achieved his goal for this season in terms of the number of wins he had so far so that he will just be to kind of you know having some fun this round but from my experience the last time I faced a guildmate which was I don't know maybe a year or so ago even more they also said something similar like yeah I'll just have some fun take it easy and oh boy they did set a harsh defense for me that time I guess uh, having fun has different meanings uh, for different people I guess but for me, when I live stream, it's all about having fun. It's not so much about winning, because if I would be about winning, <laughs> I would not be live streaming. It just seems like uh, on live streams, I always have my worst performances. Uh, just because, you know, you have to manage the stream, look at the chat, interact with you guys, which anyway, it's the fun part. And then, you know, trying to a little bit talk and explain what I'm doing. So it's not uh, so boring and dry, just, you know, watching me quiet and playing. Um, so it doesn't matter who wins. Or loses. Uh, important thing is that uh, you know we have some fun along the way. That's what really live streams are for. That we can you know interact a little bit and see what's going on. We got Steve as well in the chat. Hey BD, good to see you doing a live stream. How's it going? Going well, my friend. Going well. I think it's been actually only two weeks since I've done a live stream of Grand Arena because I was actually facing one of my Patreons back then. Um, I would like to do more live streamings because they're really fun to do. It's just you know. Um, trying to find like a two hour time slot sometimes uh, during the day or in the evening um, you know it's proving challenging with you know other guides I'm creating for the game already and then obviously uh, some real life work and activities um, that kind of you know are important to do to pay the bills all right uh, John uh, retracted his message okay fair enough uh, Wukang says but we give you tips sometime too yes you do Yes, you do. It's not just tips, it's like a moral support uh, that I feel, you know, all that force that is uh, coming from you guys helping me 
Uh, but no doubt, probably that the rest of the guild might be siding with my guild mate. I'm not sure, you know, they're trying to, you know, together uh, take down uh, me as a uh, YouTuber. Barley says, don't listen to my advice. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Hellscream says, you got this. The question is, what is this that I got? <laughs> am I having some fun? I sure am. Will I win? I don't know. We shall see. Uh, we shall see. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's going to be a fun one. Um, but more or less, I don't expect anything crazy, to be honest. Uh, just because we kind of all do the same thing. It's funny how Datacron were supposed to bring some variety to the actual game, but I don't know. I just feel like slowly Datacrons are becoming a bit stale, to be honest, because like, we're having repeated Datacrons. Um, and we all do the same thing, like here, you know, in Kyber 1. We all have all, we all have all Galactic Legends, we all have everything, all the Datacrons, some a little bit less, some a little bit more, but we all kind of doing the same things anyway. And this being the last week uh, of uh, Grand Arena of this season, we kind of have things more or less figured out in terms of the counter that we use. It's always that first week every season when we have new Datacron sets uh, that it's a bit of a guessing game. Uh, we also a little bit learned now what Darvain can do or can't do. Um, so we'll have to wait and see how the new Datacrons will affect the meta. Uh, definitely the outgoing Datacron set, right, was quite underwhelming, like aside from Jabba and Afra Datacrons. The rest were a bit like, okay, like nothing game breaking, but the uh, pre this current set that we have and then the new one that's coming, they've got some OP stuff in there. Um, so might be a bit uh, tricky to deal with some of the things. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, especially because some of the best Datacrons are gated behind the new characters. Um, like Stab's got a good Datacron, Kaleran as well, right? Uh, which obviously I don't have those yet, Relic Top, nowhere near yet. Uh, but we'll have to, I guess, uh, wait and see. Okay. Mm, what am I farming? Oh. IG Grogu. Let's farm the let's farm you a bit. Uh, so we got like what seven, eight minutes to go. Alright. Yeah, I just do the 25 crystal refreshes for these guys because anything more than that, I don't know. It's just becoming too costly. And I don't mind uh, you know, getting Bo Katan a few months after. Uh, you know, I'll probably get her just by the time <laughs> her data crone expires. But I think she's pretty good without her data crone as well, right? Uh, John says, sorry, I thought you dis disappeared, but I just rewinded the stream to start accidentally. So I deleted my message asking about it. All right, fair enough, John. Who can say the seed one is ridiculous? It certainly appears so, yes. Um, but I think there will be some limitations to it. Uh, we'll just have to find out what those limitations are, I guess. Um, and then we'll have to wait and see. I know, I'm finally getting around to relicking up my uh, Malachus. Uh, getting him to relic 7 slowly. Um, I also added second Omicron on him. And now I'm out of Omicron, so I have to wait another month to get the third Omicron for Malachus. Uh, because until now I was kind of using Star Killer to take down Ray's. But lately, raised uh, data crons have just been really hard on Star Killer, so I finally decided to give in. Uh, relic up my Malakas from Relic Five to Relic Seven, as well. Uh, slap all the Omicrons on him, not just the one I had. Uh, but obviously, I'm still missing here because it looks like no matter the data crons, Malakas kind of uh, deals with Ray. You know, he's got. Uh, uh, revive, uh, revive preventions, his attacks can't be evaded, so he doesn't care about revives, doesn't care about evading and stuff like that, so... Uh, yeah, but as you can see, I'm totally out of Omicron, so... It'll be another month because before I can unleash my Malakas, and then we have to start saving up, I guess, Omicrons there uh, for Queen Amidala. Uh, how good she will be? We'll have to, I guess, wait and see until they release... Um, uh, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan uh, to see what they will bring to the team, I guess. Uh, 
Okay. Steve-O says, I'm doing the long ride for bow character as well. Yeah, you know, just, just taking the time. Um, because if you rush on shards too much, then like, you know, you don't have relics, you don't have Kairos uh, leveled up. There's always a bottleneck somewhere, so... I kind of prefer to be stuck behind shards as a bottleneck, because then at least I can uh, slowly prepare all the other resources while I'm slowly farming characters. Uh, Hellscream says he can solo JML at least. Yeah, but how long? How, how often do we see JML on defense, right? Generally, at when has I been struggling with Jedi Master Luke lately? Like using him on offense, like. With all these uh, data crowns out there, he can't really counter many Galactic Legends or even some of the top teams. So he's just kind of, for me personally, just kind of relegated to, you know, B tier teams to take down. Uh, so if Sif Eternal got a lifter, which turned out to be is not a lifter, but it's a one man machine, I think Jedi Master Luke could use a lifter. I think Jedi Master Luke at the moment. I mean, if you take Data Crons away, Jedi Master Luke is still solid, but with Data Crons, I don't know. Jedi Master Luke is just struggling, to be honest. So definitely, I think he should get a lifter sometime soon, hopefully. Uh, what else I need to do for my dailies before we start with Grand Arena? Okay. Stefan also says he beats Je Jedi Master Luke. John asks, do dismantle data crowns or let them go away? I do dismantle them because um, of the credit cap. I don't know why they set it to like 30 mil only. Uh, it's just, it just feels a bit cheaper, right? Because then you have to dismantle a few, rush farm, uh, you know, the Mark II, Mark III's uh, when Conquest starts so you can spend your credits and then dismantle some more. Uh, it's 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 a bit of a well, it's CG, right? That's the way it is. Uh, Steve-O says, "Good call, Malikus is so fun to use versus Ray." Yeah, I've seen other people using it. It's just, you know, it's managing resources, right? And you know, Guild has been lately asking for some territory war Omicron, so I applied a few on territory war units as well, uh, some kind of low for Malikus. So hopefully, I'll be able to join the Malikus train soon. Rebel says, what's the level 3 and 6 for Sidious Crown? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I haven't had a look too much uh, into Data Crowns yet. I've just been busy uh, doing all the Conquest stuff the last couple of days. Uh, I just had a quick glance at Data Crowns. Um, but maybe... Um, maybe tomorrow on my flight I'll have some time to... Um, I saved up all the details about Data Crowns on my flight, hopefully. I should be able to um, go through all the list and put together some ideas what I will be farming. Wukong says, Force go Four Ghost Yoda would be awesome. Now that would be awesome indeed, yeah. Kia says, Yeah, what happened with me? I wanted bow next month for free, but Gildman gifted me Shark Calendar, so I felt I had to get her this time. Cost me lost 20,000 crystals, sadly. Yikes. I mean... I guess it's not so bad. Uh, at least you got it, right? Omega Razor says, Sith lifters just seem to be better off on their own. They do, don't they? <laughs> uh. Rebel uh, RX says, Understandable, I got my shopping list set for data disks. Yeah, we gotta put our shopping list together. I'll, I think I'll do it over the weekend and then I'll update uh, my data cron uh, list as well on my website for you to share. Hey, Molpoki, how's it going? I don't think the level 3 and 6 matter that much for Sidious or Bane. Maybe give Sidious something that will help him heal, but mostly just about the level 9s. Yeah, I think a good one for Sidious uh, would be level 6, where is it when you apply 5 debuffs, which his A will apply, right? You recover 50% protection, so I think that one could be nice for Sidious. That, that's at least what I think. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, now I think it's time. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on in our Grand Arena today. 
Throwback Tyler, hello, how is going? Hey, Queen Voss, hello. Thanks for joining uh, my fellow guildmate in the chat. Sirius has insta kill on five dots. Yes, he does, but if you're going up against a team that's constantly cleansing, uh, they might never get to five dots, so just something to be considered. And as well, if they got, you know, high tenacity, you can't land those dots as well, right? Um, okay, so uh, let's head into Grand Arena. I think it's time now. And let's first give a warm shout out to my uh, guildmate Dark Tibus. Um, part of the Green Alliance, yeah, the best guild in the galaxy, as you probably know by now. Um, they've got everything at this level. We all got everything right. Uh, they do have more Relic Nines than me a little bit. Uh, but hold on, let me let me bring up the um, uh, the stats uh, so you can actually see the comparison between Dark Tibus and myself. Uh, similar GP, I got a little bit more, but you know, GP difference very minimal. Same amount of Zetas. I've got a little couple of more Omicrons on me, but that's a bit skewed because I applied Malikos just today, so probably got 26, not 27 Omicrons. All GLs, similar amount of Relic units, pretty much, you know, very close in all the stats in terms of Relics. I've got a little bit more Relic 7s, they got a little bit more Relic 8s and 9s, but, you know, difference between Relic 7, 8 and 9 at best is marginal. Now, they do have a lot more mods than I do. I've got only about 500, they've got 800. Uh, but in terms of speeds, you know, we are quite closely matched. So, again, in terms of mods, not that big of a difference, I would say. Um, they do have advantage on the Datacron side. 10 more Datacrons than me, and then 8 more level 9 Datacrons. So a little bit of advantage there. Other than that, we've got, you know, pretty much everything the same. Um, some maybe Omicron's difference here and there. Now the rest have Bo-Katan, so you know, I guess it's gonna be quite even there. We don't have to worry about just somebody using Bo-Katan. We all got all the ships and everything. I mean, at this level, uh, where I'm at, I just check, do you have Bo-Katan or not? <laughs> because otherwise we all got everything. Everybody have everything, right, at this point. We all got kind of similar data crons and everything. Some got a bit more, some bit less, but yeah. So it's going to be a very close match uh, from stat-wise, but obviously from strategy-wise, they will have advantage because they will be able to see what I'm doing on my live stream, uh, and, you know, they'll be able to make informed decisions about uh, what's hiding in the back zone. Okay, okay, I was going to chat. Olya says, it is crazy to think that Supreme Kalarin still does not have a lifter in it yet. Yeah, but... I mean, Supreme Carlo is good. He can kind of still get the job done, right? Uh, a little bit struggling now because of Doubtcron, right? But otherwise, you know, Carlo still gets the job done. Oh, says so Stefane is a similar saying. He does need one. He agrees that Jedi Mother's look needs a lifter. Yeah, I agree as well. Because I'm genuinely struggling last couple of weeks what to do with Jedi Master Look, and t today might be the same. We'll be like, well, well, well will I use Master Look? <laughs> All right, let's see um, what my guildmates set for me uh, on defense. Um, they said they will just have some fun. So let's have a look what means having fun for my uh, guildmate heads. All right, let's go and look at the top zone. So they've got Gideon, they've got Saw, they got Malgus, Reva, so kind of pretty standard uh, lineup. But you know, all of these teams more or less require a Galactic Legend to take down or, you know, one of those powerful teams. So definitely a very strong top, a top zone. Uh, let's see if in the bottom. What's going on? Oh, the bottom's even, okay, worse almost. Okay, we've got Ray. Uh, deflection. Well, I'm definitely not doing Star Killer here, that's for sure. We've got Tuscans uh, with the standards. 
it's a lot of armor penetration. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, guys. That's going to be a tough one as well. Uh, what do we have here? Yeah, so just really... A lot of deflection on here. Wow. Okay. Yikes. All right. And we've got, obviously, what do we have on here? The bonus turn one. Yeah. So definitely a very strong front line. Very strong. Oh, boy. So that's what means fun for my opponent, yeah? Oh, maybe they'll be having fun on offense and just trying some stuff out. I don't know. Queen Vos says, Triumph Savage will work on Tuscans. Uh, yeah, probably it would. Um, but uh, I may or I may not have Treya Savage available <laughs> for offense. I may or may not have. Um, so this is my top zone. I've got gas. I mean, it's not a great defensive squad, but using gas on offense is just bad for banners, right? Because no protection recovery. You usually lose a couple of people, at least, versus stronger teams. So just slap him on defense. I as well have Saw, but no Omicron on my Saw. So my Saw is not nearly as good as his. Slightly different comp, but still, yeah, pretty crazy. I've got a dash squad again, nothing too crazy, but it's one of those things where I've got an Omicron on dash. I've got an Omicron on Hondo. What else am I going to do with these guys? They can't do anything on offense. Eh, you know, I don't know. Nothing to worry about here, I guess. And yeah, just, you know, Fiend's Ori squad. So you definitely see that my opponent's uh, top zone is definitely quite much uh, tougher, I think, than, than my top zone. I don't know what you guys think. This, If you look at this... Would you be scared? You'd be like, ah, that's fine. I'll worry about it later. Let's clear the bottom first. Whereas for my opponent, I have to worry about the top while I'm clearing the bottom already. Um, and then my bottom zone, I guess, similar like his. I got Ray as well. Uh, I've got my Malachus, as you can see, as mentioned before. Relic 5, 1 Omicron still at the lock. I just started leveling him up a little bit. I've got a mall with Mandalorians. I don't know. Will they do anything? I don't think they do much. It's just, uh, you know, trying to be a little bit scary because of this level 9 for Beskar Mando. Um, could cause some problems, but I've, I've put his defense last week already. Nobody had any issues with it. Of course, my Gideon as well, but my guys are lower re relic than his. Um, and then I've got a Ray as well. Um... Similar like his, he's got deflection. I've got deflection on my as well, but you know, depends, I guess, deflection what counter you use. It's really just mostly to stop Star Killer, right? Because other squads um, they deal physical damage that you would normally use versus Ray anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, so let's, uh, I guess, before we get started, a little bit map out the teams uh, and then we'll get going. Uh, so up top we got a Gideon. Uh, what else we got? Uh, we got Saul. Then we've got a Malgus. And we've got a Riva. Man, Riva's tough with the Doubtcrone, isn't she? And then what we had Lord Vader here. We had a Ray, we had a Seer, and was it Tuscans, right? Okay, okay, well, because my Malakus is not ready yet to take on Ray and Starkiller just at the moment is struggling, I'm gonna do Jedi Master Kenobi. It's always a bit tricky, but somehow I pull through. Um, however, before I do, I just want to do another battle just to make sure Bluestacks doesn't crash, because sometimes it likes to crash like in the first battle of Grand Arena or something. Uh, so I'll just do a squad arena um battle just for the funsies and then we'll take it from there yeah it doesn't matter win or lose won't matter uh i don't know sure just give me some of that i guess I don't know, does Riva even work versus uh, Jabba Data Kron? I don't know. I never tried it. Give me some of that. 
I mean, we are wrecking them, to be honest. Do they not have the... Oh, they don't have the, the damage immunity one. Okay, that should be easy. They don't have a good data cron. Alright. Man. <laughs> Is it just me, or it looks like that Inquisitors and Lord Vader, they always, always have a data cron that makes them better than they're actually supposed to be, right? Am I right? <laughs> Oh man, we are wrecking these guys. Come on. There we go. Easy. Easy. Alright. I think we are ready to do our first battle. Which is always a ray, right? For me... Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I always do a uh, raid battle first because <laughs> it's one of those where you're like, you just want to get it out, get it done and, you know, make the plans afterwards uh, when you see what's what, who's who. Okay. Dark Tibus, let's see. Uh, they will not be attacking. Uh, he said that he doesn't have time uh, to, to play anything today because of the family reasons, which is understandable. Uh, Jared says, to be honest, I'm going to miss my Jabakron. Yeah. Uh, I think that Jabakron is very powerful, but they did a good balancing act, but at the same time giving Afra data Kron, so you have an easy way to counter Jabba. So then Jabba, like on offense, is, is really powerful. Alright, I'm just gonna do Jedi Master Kenobi here. I'm not gonna fool around too much. Um, and I want Padawan Ahsoka here as the last one. Okay. And then give me something with armor penetration. Um, and I want anti-revive, right? So when we finish off Ben, he's not coming back. And we got the stacking offense as well. Okay, good. Rodrigo says, what are you drinking? Um, it's uh, ginger and hibiscus kombucha. Hmm. Not sure if the camera can focus. <laughs> it's essentially fermented green tea. It's hel it's healthy for for the gut. All right. Um, again, what they've got. All right. Crit avoidance deflection. Um, I wonder who will get VIP. Probably Barris, right? Or maybe Ben. I don't know. Oh, they don't have all the um, Omicrons. They don't have redeemed one. Oh, that's the one where you ignore protection, right? Okay. Alright, here we go. Let's open up the Grand Arena. Finally, I guess. Alright, I need to focus on this one. Um, drop the healing immunity. Okay. Alright. Um, okay. Alright. Hmm. Okay. So she's in yellow. Ben doesn't have instant defeat immunity, so we can kill him, right? We can just take him out. Alright, good. Okay, so we don't have to worry about him. Start working on Barris. Uh, give swap turn with Commander Sokatano. Okay, swap with Kenobi. Uh, let's drop that healing immunity. Okay. Can we take out Barris? Yep. All right. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna save the ult. I don't think I need it just yet. Okay. Uh, mm, yeah, let's go into ult now. Okay, good. Uh, give me some of that. <laughs> Here comes the deflection, right? Uh, uh, all right. Uh, we'll just, I guess, go after Ray. Just take her down now. Down she goes, and then I guess we go after Sorty next. Because otherwise, Ray, uh, Jedi training, she will just keep going to stealth, right? <laughs> okay, come on. Um, okay, let's do it like this. Give me some of that. Okay. Okay. Get Ray out. There we go. We got this. He thought. Oh. <sighs> Jedi Master Kenobi. Oof. Yeah, the Enter Revive is nice. So I'm thinking. Because we do have the Enter Revive for Jedi. Would the Enter Revive Data Crown level 6 be good for a Master Kenobi squad? Uh, I mean, I know Commander Soka Tagano is not Jedi, but. Jedi Master Kenobi himself, he's got stacking damage, so then eventually he can pop Ben and prevent revives. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try and get an anti revival for, for Jedi Master Kenobi after this one. Uh, Wizard of the Ghost says, You eat Ben! Yeah, that's, that, that's what I've done, right? Melky, Melky Sol says, Isn't Jedi Cal JML's unofficial lifter already? I don't think that Jedi Cal is a lifter for um, Jedi Master Luke. I don't think so. Like, because the whole thing with Jedi Master Luke is inherited teachings, right? And with Jedi Knight Cal, if you keep using inherited teachings, you never get to his insta kill. So it's a bit. You have to make a choice. Okay. Do you wait for free turns, going for the insta kill, or I'd want to keep uh, using inherited teachings? That's why I don't like. Like, he doesn't have that great synergy with Jedi Master Luke just because of that. Um, so, I don't know. Alright, uh, what do we got next? Uh, should we update our scoreboard? Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. I've been using Qui-Gon uh, versus Tuscans. These Tuscans, they do have 90% armor penetration, which is kind of scary. But so far, Qui-Gon hasn't failed me. It's not always the prettiest and cleanest battle, but for the most part, it works. And I think for Seer, I want to do Sif Eternal. And for Lord Vader, I just like to throw Leia. Because what you guys think is at the back, right? Should we guess? Could be a Jabba at the back. Could be a Leia at the back. People like to sneak those two at the back, right? Like, without your your counters up front. So I do want to save Afra. I do need to save Jabba, I guess. Um, What else we haven't seen on defense that people normally put? Like a dash or something. But I'm not too worried about dash at this point. So definitely want to save Afra and Jabba here. Um, Probably want to do Bane versus Reva. Huh. And then I think Malgus there. I guess Kylo there. It's like, would you trust Jedi Master Luke versus Malgus without Kron? I don't know, man. I don't know, would I trust Jedi Master Luke? I don't know. So this leaves me a. Okay, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe there's no layer at the back and we can throw Jabba at Malgus and we'll be fine. I don't know. Queen Vos says, Jedi Master Luke versus Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. I don't know, man. I tried it once. It was so sketchy, man. Wizard of the Ghost says, I trust Jedi Master Luke if he has protection, Kron. Yeah. So I think next season, just the Master Luke will be good. You get some nice protection. Maybe a nice Jedi bonus or two for, for him. And Jedi Master Luke could be useful again. 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, I could do Jedi Master Luke. I could try versus Gideon, but I wouldn't want to do a Malgus Mirror match. Anyway, we'll worry about the top later. I just think that's what I'll do at the bottom. Um, let's get Qui-Gon Battle out. Because this one can get sketchy, man. Um, where am I Jedi at? Um, who the hell do I want to use here, though? Like... Ah... Uh, Shakt is gaining bonus turn meter. Yoda's gaining bonus turn meter. Barris is gaining bonus turn meter. Do you want to go put Alia in there? I don't know. I don't know. Do we use Plo Koon for... Ah, that's also turn meter boost. That's not good as well. Huh. Because normally I'd use Mace in there in the last slot, but already used Mace. What does Kit Fisto do? He's an attacker. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, Barris could be nice for the dispel, but then she's just getting so much bonus ter meter when she's dispelling stuff. Okay, let's, let's bring in Shakti. Um, data crons, I guess something with armor penetration. Um, I think I'll take this one. Dark Tibus. Oh, Dark Tibus says, "Hey, no cap for the match." Hey, Dark Tibus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, here we go. Don't fail me. Don't fail me, Qui-Gon. Has yet to fail me, but I don't know. Data crons, you never know. Okay. Huh. I think we just have to do it. Come on. Hit it. Ugh, there we go. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna get you out. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we are good here. Now just trying to, I guess keep everybody alive um yeah let's heal up actually Kiari Mundi a bit oh gosh <laughs> I said it's not pretty it's not pretty never is there we go but somehow you always kind of win <laughs> there we go Hit it! <sighs> uh, sure. Not looking good with banners though, but... Let's see if, sh if we can make it to another heal with Shakti. Come on, Kiarimuri, stop stunning yourself. Um, I guess I can top up Anakin. That's the only banner recovery I have, isn't it? There we go. Ah, oh, 61. It's a one shot, I'll take it. Um, maybe there's a better counter, but what else I'm gonna do with my Qui Gon? Right? Qui Gon can't beat anything else on this board. On defense, he still gets pummeled by um, Bad Batch. So we gotta find a use for the guy. Uh, 
Lee Day, hello, how is going? How is GC going? Well, just starting. I don't know how about other people. Omega, not pretty one shot, two shot any day of the week. That is true, one shot is better. I mean, 61 banners, you know, 63 would be nice, but I'll take 61. His animation must look odd on 1x. Whose animation? What's the natural counter? Redis. Redis? Yeah, but when Datacron expires for Tuscans, then we might be using Redis again. Um, oh, Chieftain's animation. Yeah, he's like... Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> uh, Malgus versus Seer. Uh, I'm saving Malgus for, for Gideon. I'll just do Sif Eternal. I know. It's not gonna be pretty. Nothing is. Okay. Alright. And... Oh! Darth Bane was designed to replace what? Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, do we even want or need a Datacron? Eh... Eh, don't need a data crown, I think. Okay. Alright. Because, yeah, you can use Sif, Eternal, and Bane together to do stuff, but if you use them separate, you've got two powerful teams instead of one. So, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Uh, Alright. Um. Because the whole issue is, if uh, Bane's bonuses would persist after he's defeated, then that would be amazing, because you could easily take down Ray's. But because his bonus expires, right? What's use then to do that? Wizard of Ghosts, who is better with uh, SC? Watt or Bane? I still prefer Watt. Let Bane do his own thing. Yeah, Throwback Tyler agrees to keep them separate. Hey, easy buddy, easy, hey! Sheesh, man. Take it easy, Malchus. Uh-oh. Come on, hang in there. One more turn, I think, and I should be good to go. No rocks, please. No rocks. No rocks. No rocks. Hmm. I said no. Hmm. Come on, there we go. Okay, we just need to hang in there one more turn, guys. One more turn and we are good to go. Mmm! Ultimate power, baby. Um, I'm not sure whether uh, Sif and Power Trooper will survive, because Sir Junda can nuke him, right? Uh, we'll just try to get Seer down if we can. Come on. Oh, still so far away from another ultimate. It's coming, I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay. Yeah, we were able to hang survive in there. Okay, one more turn. Alright. Okay. Alright. Hit it. Mm. Auto. Lee, Lee says, next batch of GACs, we're going to have three Sif teams for a total of four characters. Bane, SC, what seed is? Yeah, you can even do a Lord Vader solo as well on something if you bring Lord Vader on offense. Wizard of Ghosts, please, can you use a full team with SC, what if you want to? You can use a full team, but it would just be bad banners. SC with what an armor is like Bane. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Sort of is. Okay, one more team. And then uh, we should be able to see what's hiding behind the door number one. Oh, Leia, Leia. I just like to do Leia, man. I... Uh, um... 
Drogon, Old Ben, Jean. Because like Rares, because of all the doubt, Corona, he's not really that good on offense, so I don't mind clubbing these two together. Yeah, sure, give me Gene Data Cron, it can't hurt, I guess. Um, Okay, Darth Vader in there, that's scary. Hmm. Alright, let's try. No R2! Are oh, you right, Queen Voss? I should have taken R2 instead of Old Ben. Hmm. Will that cost me the win, though? Hope not. Oh boy, I lost Radis already, yikes. Oh boy, this is not looking good, guys. <laughs> ah, because I used Kenobi, so Mold and started with 5 stacks. Okay, uh, this complicates things slightly, alright. Oh boy. I totally misplayed. Why did I bring in Keno old Ben? Ah, <sighs> alright, let's clear her, I guess, at least. Uh, sure, whatever. Um, yeah, give me some of that. Mm. Can we bring back Radice, maybe? Yeah, we can, good. Oh uh, gosh, this is not going well at all. Oh gosh. I'm not liking this at all. Fine, I'm just take him down. Just get him down, okay. I'll get him down also, please. Thank you. Hmm, jerk. Hey, old Ben. Welcome to the party. Just get him out. Okay. Alright. Somehow we are still hanging in there, even though with my misplays. Uh, sure, just hit it. Give me some of that. Nah, this won't do anything anyway. Just there we go. Give me a dispel. Gosh. Sure. Give me a taunt, I guess. Um. Nah. Okay. I'm gonna save the revive, maybe I'll need it later. Okay, we're getting there though, we're getting there. I think we got this. Uh, yeah, just basics. Ah, uh, seriously? Okay, give me a dispel. Um, does this heal? Dispel debuffs, they gain, call allies, and all allies recover 20% protection. Um, I guess let's top up Jean. There we go. 62, do you know what? Usually it's 64, but I brought in Kenobi instead of R2. <laughs> so, I'll take it. See, that's what happens, live streams, guys. As I said, I always... Uh, perform uh, poorer on live streams because my mind is a little bit scattered between chat managing the streams and everything all right we got 62 um let's see what's what's happening in the chat what did i miss during this intense battle uh Vuka says holy moly yeah that was it but that was my mistake right because i brought in uh old bank and obi and then more more starts with five stacks of anguish uh, i think you will recover when you get old yeah i recovered 
cleanable. Actually, this may be win, says Lee Day. Uh, thanks for the confidence, I guess. Steve-O says, had to step away. What have I missed? Well, that depends. What? When did you step away? Uh, we did um, Qui-Gon Jinn versus uh, Tuscan Chief. We did Sif Eternal versus Seer Malakas. And we did Aleia uh, versus Lord Vader. Uh, okay. 502 is not a bad score, says Queen Voss. It's not a bad score. No, it's not. But I feel like could have been a little bit better. 505 at least, but yeah, I'll take 502. Hey, do you know what? As long as I one-shot everything, I'm always happy. I don't get into the whole efficiency thing. Alright, uh, so what do we have at the back? Star Killer? Hera? Hera? What beats Hera? I've never faced Hera. I mean, at least no Omicron on Captain Rex. We've got Dash and all Omicron on Hondo. That makes it easier as well, I guess. And to revive. Mm, can't use Night Sisters there, unfortunately, because of the anti revive. Uh, what do we have on here? Some armor penetration. Oh, Star Killer. What do we do with Star Killer these days? Hmm. Okay. Or right, let's update the board then, I guess. So, no Jabba, no Leia. Uh, we've got ourselves a Star Killer. We got ourselves a Hera, which is an interesting choice, and a Dash. All right. Uh, all right. Guess versus Hera. Guess is on defense. Stefan says Tuscans versus Hera. Is that a thing? I've got Tuscans. I've actually been having fun with Tuscans. I'd much rather have them on offense with their data crown now. Um, they're, just, they're really good versus all these turn meter trained squads. Uh, CLS, Chandler Grievous, Qui Gon beats Phoenix easy. I've already used my Qui-Gon on Tuscans, so he's not available. Dash versus Star Killer. Um, Dash versus Star Killer. My Dash is on defense. Uh, we use troopers on Star Killer if we can outrun. I don't think my troopers can outrun this. I would be shocked. Mm -hmm, 351. I don't think we can outrun 351. Maybe if I would still have what? You know, a little trick, but... Um, is there anything super fast on Hera? Captain Rex is usually fast at his name. 316 and we get extra 25 speed. So he's like what, at 341? Sap! Uh, my Sap is... Um, Is gear 11. Can the one parole on a phoenix without the Rex Cron? No, because Rex still got tenacity down in days, right? I wouldn't trust Wampa. Uh, yeah, Lee, 351 on Mara, that's it. Ha, GG with BB 8 versus Star Killer. Ah, that's gonna be low banners. I think we've got better teams. Uh, to deal with. Alright, let's head over to the board and see what's what. I'm in this bottom zone. We'll figure it out. Um, okay, which means Chaba versus Malgus? Is that a thing? Um, we could do Afra. I think Afra still works, right? And then I can do. Jabba versus Star Killer? Would that work? Probably, right? Because they can't assist. I just hear yep, yep. Yep, yep to what? Because I've asked a lot of questions. Yano says Tuscans easily beat Phoenix. Okay, we'll try it then. Tuscans and Phoenix. Um, 
Chaba versus Starkiller is good, says Ghost Rider. Okay. No SC for Malgus. Uh, I used SC on Sir Junda down here. 64 banners. Aha, Queen of Oz says Afra versus Malgus works. Hmm. Okay. Did the Dark Tibus ask you to say that? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll get back to the bottom. Let's clear the top first and then we'll see what we have left in the tank for the bottom. Uh, there we go. You think that Doubt would kind of stop Afra, but I guess she's getting bonus turns, isn't it? Not bonus turn meter. Does Saw have Omicrons and Datacrons? I tried Supreme Color and and got murdered. Really? Did you have did you have Hux on the team? Because Hux should prevent their turn meter gains. And was it a full first order squad, I guess, with Supreme the Color Ran? Um. Ah, oh, but they've got Talon. Yikes. Does Talon complicate things? Uh, my stop is only gear 11. I do not want to try that. And I do not have Omicron as well on him. Alright. Uh, GC Insights. Let's go. Let's see what the data says. Um, squads. So you can see a little bit better. All right. Ha, oh, definitely don't want cleanups. Uh, no GLs. Um, and we got ourselves a Malgus. Uh, with all three Omicrons on him. That's Relic 9. Yikes. Uh, and then we got Talon in here as well. Um, Datacron. Doubt. Uh, let's chuck all the omis in here. Okay. Now let's find ourselves a Dr. Afra. Uh, we need you and you. I don't know guys, 70. Okay, let's let's throw the data crons in there. Okay. Make sure we got the Omicrons as well. Uh, there we go. 90%? Huh. I guess it sort of works. Anything with B2 looks like works. So I guess we'll do B2 then. Okay, go try the confirming. B2 makes it 100%. Yeah, but if B2 gets doubt on him. Alright. That's the thing with this doubt. It just changes so many teams because it stops their meter gains. But you know, look, my guy's a relic 5. We have to keep that in mind as well. And who do we want for Do we want Magna Guard, Imperial Probe Droid? What do you guys think? Do we want Imperial Probe Droid or Magna Guard? Because Magna Guard kind of has a taunt, right? IG. IG. IG? You guys sure you want to use IG? Okay. Alright, let's try IG then. If that's what chat is saying, because chat is always right. HK. <laughs> I mean, majority of people use IG, <clears throat> but it's lowest banners compared to maybe like Probe Droid, Magna Guard is 64 banners, but it's just one battle, right? So. IGB2 will be shocked. Hmm. IG or Magna. I guess the issue with Magna is he's slow, right? That's the issue with Magna Guard. I mean, it's not like my IG is super fast. 
Because <laughs> at least my probe droid I think is faster. 253. Um, although IG does stop scaling, right? Droideka. I'll never use Droideka here. Nah, I'll just go with this. Alright. That's what majority people used, it looks like. So let's just give this one a go. Alright. Uh, increase cooldowns, I guess. Uh, let's do a AoE. I guess we should go after Talon first. Oh, I, I clicked the wrong button. Okay, this is what I want to do, but okay, fine, we'll do it anyway now. So we get Talon out. That's good, I guess. Um, go after Basti. Okay. Here comes Doubt. Okay, increase cooldowns. Okay. Uh, somebody said no AoEs, so we'll just do basics. Um, we can't assist, right, because of Doubt. Can't gain bone. Oh, we can assist, okay. I guess let's start working on Malgus. Like, IG didn't get a single turn yet, I think. Keep, keep those cooldown increases coming. Okay. Okay, we're getting there slowly. At least uh, HK's, uh, sorry, IG's Zeta is pre uh, stopping them from recovering protection. Uh, so that's nice, actually. It's actually having IG in here is... Oh, oh, here comes Fear. Come on, just... Just... Oh, he was feared. Oh, no. Just get him out. Get him. Just get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. There we go. All right. I think we are in the clear. Now it's just a question is about banners, isn't it? Man, Afra is so thick at this point. <sighs> we gotta deal with Malak first, fine. Have it your way, Malak. That's okay, we'll bring him back, I hope. Hey, easy, buddy, easy! <sighs> Can somebody just put him down, please? Come on, I need them to survive one more turn. Here we go. Here comes the revive. Uh, not great banners. Oh no, 63 actually. That's not bad actually. I'm happy with this. Okay. I don't think IG took a single turn. He was constantly feared or something. Uh, but hit Zeta there. Uh, acting as a healing immunity on Malgus because he had target lock on him. Target lock on him. That was pretty nice actually. Well, <sighs> Afrakron, we will miss you dearly. That's that's what I'm gonna say. Afra is such a good da uh, um, a data cron to have. All right, let's see what Chad was saying while I was battling. Uh, Queen Vos says uh, Bastila fallen first. Lee says yeah, I would gone for Basti first as well. I just wanted to get Talon out of there. Um, but yeah, this, it worked out. Ah, uh, Wukang says the same thing. Gonna miss the Afra cron. Yep. Uh, Ghost Rider. He's got... He's just there to look good. IG-88, right? Uh, hey, Zeta was doing heavy, heavy work for us. Yeah, everybody's gonna miss the Kron for sure. He looked good, though. His turns were too fast for you to see, says Hellscream. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> Alright. Okay. Uh, so somebody said that 
somebody mentioned that they lost versus so with supreme the color ran really hold on i gotta check this out uh so we got all the data crons there we go and we've got omicron here we go um no cleanups please gls kylo wow you can actually lose that is scary Well, I'm, what I'm gonna use Supreme Leader Kylo Ren on? What I'm gonna do with Saw then? Um, I mean, he's got the reddest gene combo, which is not very common, unfortunately. Right, so I don't know. How'd you guys feel about Kylo Ren versus this Saw? Ghost Rider says JML is better for so. I do not have Stap Relic. The issue I have is with JML. You can't kill Redis while Jin is alive. While you're killing off Redis, Jin can revive somebody, right? At least a primitive coloring stops revives. If Hux and First Order officers outspeed so you win. Huh. Okay, so we go. Uh, if all allies are rebel fighters, allies have. They have 10 speed while they don't have full health and 5 speed. For each stack of wolves. Yeah. Man, this is just too much text to read. Sauce kit, isn't it? Ah. I don't know, guys. Like, I'm not gonna read through all of this. <laughs> I just don't. I just can't read. Sauce kit is just too complicated. I'm pretty sure hugs goes, right? Because we get 30 speed from Kylo lead plus 20% turn meter because we gain advantage. There's no way my hugs and first order officer don't go before. It's just crazy to think that. Oh. He doesn't have Radis and Gene. What am I doing? He's got Kara and Pathfinder. What am I th thinking? <sighs> Alright, that's maybe more common so we get some more data to work with. Alright. Who's got the best win rate with five battles or more? JML? It ain't pretty though. And I don't know how to play JML versus Saw. Man, that Kylo is so low. JML is a hundred percent win rate. Ghost starter says direct focus cheer it. Okay, we'll just do this. It seems to work 100% of the time, unless I'll be that first person that fails, right? Which, which it does happen, actually. Alright, th that'll be a good use of Jedi Master Luke, actually. Um, I think so, at least. Do we need Jolie for the revives, I guess? Or what? Why, why, why would you use Jolie otherwise? Hmm, I would prefer Hermit Yoda, but looks like somebody lost. Um, it is a lot 
bigger sample size. Co-starter says I use Hermitiola, but doesn't matter. I guess Julie is a safety net for the revives or something. Um, okay, we'll just go with the data, I guess, because I don't know how to play this. What do we want in terms of data crons? Do we want protection up? Or do we just want something with armor penetration? What are we looking for? I guess we want protection up, right? Just in case things go out of hand. Protection up, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Protection up, okay. So we want the light side. Ah, well, I don't have a huge pool of data crons. So I've got this one. This one. Well, 6% potency? I guess it'll have to do. <sighs> okay, here we go. Hmm, I guess we do this. And then we said we just direct focus cheer it. Okay. And I guess... Stun? Do we stun? I guess we stun, right? I see, this is what I'm saying about Jedi Kyle. You want to work towards his insta-kill, but you want to use inherited teachings, right? So it's like... That's why I don't feel like he really is a lifter. Alright, that was good. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just keep calling look for assist. Kill him. Um. Okay. Down he goes. Uh, let's go, I guess, for Saw next. Okay. okay. Why didn't she die? Um, ah, screw alt, man. Let's just finish her. Okay. Okay, I'm swap turnometer. Um, sure, let's do a basic. And I can swap. And we can go into alt. Get a stun. Buff immunity. Uh, we'll just keep going. <laughs> there we go. Get him down. There we go. Uh, sure, give me some of that. Mm. Okay. Oh, seriously? Seriously, you're gonna do me like that, so? Snipe some banners before I take you down? <sighs> like, seriously, dude. <clears throat> he took like three turns in a row. What the hell, man? Took like three turns in a row, man. What the heck? <laughs> Alright, we got the right man. And so skit is just so long, like even if you read through it, by the time you read through it, you forget already what the first part of the kid said, right? <laughs> Jeez. 65. Hey, do you know what? 
we found a use for Jedi Master Luke today. But see, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you are using Jedi Master Luke versus B tier teams. You're not using him versus, you know, A tier teams and Galactic Legends. That's what I was saying. That's the best Jedi Must Master Luke can do. They got a B, B tier team with a good data crown. Uh, just killed Shirod. That's what we've done. I mean, as we said before, we are getting protection uh, st stats with the next data crown set. So Jedi Must Luke will be back on the menu, I think, for doing crazy stuff. Jedi data crowns incoming, Lide. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Max Banner, easy win. Yeah, Ghost Rider. He took like three, was it even four turns he took? Yeah, I don't know. Crazy. <laughs> Do you think that Dark Sidious will be able to solo soul? Now that would be something, right? <laughs> uh, Rob Smedwall says, I use Jamal versus Sir Malikas. Mm, that is good. That is impressive. I tried once. Ah, it was so sketchy, man. I I'd rather not. But maybe once we get protection data crowns, it should be good. JML can beat JMK or, or Kylo easy. Yeah, but you don't see them on defense often, do you? Alright. That was a great use of Jedi Master Luke. Then the question is, what are we using Kylo on, right? <laughs> Alright, let's, let's finish the top wall. Sith Empire. This is always a bit sketchy as well, but somehow I pull through always. I don't know. Um, what are we thinking? Hmm, definitely need something without, right? Da, where is the doubt? Okay, so it's either crit avoidance, deflection, resistance, deflection, crit avoidance. Uh, guess. I guess this one. Oh, JML is a timeout risk. Number one, who puts JML on defense? And number two, JML's got lots of cleansing, yeah, so... Especially, remember, they'll be getting more protection and health with the new data cron set, so might be too beefy. Uh, Alright, I think I need to pay attention, so let me uh, just see what I'm doing here. Okay. All right. Okay, get some fear out. Um, now let's get tenacity down, actually. Turn meter. Fear. Uh, shock over here. And now we can do an AOE. Okay. Give me a stun. Okay. Stun over here. Hold lightning over here. And we'll keep chugging at Dark Trooper. Move Gideon. Okay. Oh boy, here comes the clans. Yikes. Uh, I don't like it. Ability block, maybe? Good. Uh. Oh, gosh. Why did that ability block him? He would have used his AoE. Okay, we lost Revan. Okay, get him out. Alright, good. Slight misplay on my part, I guess. Mm. Man. 
We gotta work down this dark trooper, I guess. Oh gosh, are you kidding me? This battle has never gone so poorly, guys. I swear, I've done it four times this season. It was always clean, 64 banner win. We will get there. We will definitely get there. Uh, let's put a big hit out. Ooh! Snap! Get him out. Uh, sure. Train over here. Come on, just... Alright, good. Oh, come on, Dark Trooper, seriously, dude. What the heck, man? Normally I was able to control him, but... This time he's just... Just... Ugh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do you know what? I can't handle this hit auto. Uh, so yeah, the misplay was... I ability blocked Dark Trooper with Basti. And then his basic deals more damage than his AoE and he just punched Dark Revan. I lost Dark Revan and then I lost my AoE fear, right? So misplay on my part. Total misplay. Ugh. All right, let's see what's going on in chat. Um, talking about some stuff. Pimpo footage Arnold was showing. I saw his first two Gemmel battles and they were disappointing. Again, mind you, Jedi Master Luke. We are getting new Jedi Datacrons, so I'm just saying. Um. I lost this fight the other day, says Wukang. Oh, Malgus uh, versus Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. I normally get 64 banners. I don't know what happened today. I misplayed. Um, I think Scout Trooper was somehow able to sneak in a cleanse as well. That's what messed me up. Ah, uh, misplay on my part. Streamer luck, right? I know. It is what it is. Because I dropped 9 banners there. So if this cup comes down to efficiency match, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Java juice will make you feel better. That's it. All right. You know what's going to make us feel better? Did I update the board? Let's go ahead and drop A55 on here. Do you know what's going to make me feel better? This will make me feel better. This one. Right here. Um, doubt. Don't think we need it, but let's just go ahead and use it. Wukang Gadaran, good luck, nice to see you live. Hey, thanks for joining and for helping me out. Uh, what do they have? Uh, that's a lot of potency, okay. I've done this a couple of times. Always seem to work fine, but as you can see on live stream, things happen. <laughs> as you witnessed. Oh boy. Alright, here we go. You get your bonus turn, now I get mine. Okay. Yeah, just kill them all. I don't need them. Just kill them. Kill them. Take him down. No, not him. Dooku, go after Dooku, guys. Look. He's so squishy. Go after Dooku, guys. Come on. There we go. That's it. One more hit. You've got this. You've got this. One more hit on Dooku. Come on, somebody kill off Dooku. No, 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 not him, Dooku. <sighs> well, whatever. Just... No, go after Dooku, you idiots. <sighs> okay, let's get this guy out. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Sheesh. Bane had to finish off Dooku. These guys just refused to go after Dooku. This is kind of scary right now. It's never went that bad, actually. Alright, here we go. We got another one of these. Okay. Um, 
this is taking a bit too long for my liking. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, with your triple taps. You think you're so darn cool. Oh, yeah. All right, it all up. Main Bane. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's kind of a cheat code, Bane, isn't it? I don't care about your data crons, about your Omicrons. Bane just wrecks everything, man. Bane wrecks everything. Hellscream, is Bane gonna get nerfed? I don't think so. I don't think so he'll get nerfed. Because he's just offense only, right? You don't put him on defense, so they don't care. Okay, so what do we got with the ships? Uh, Alexei. Alexei, I had to use, sorry, I had to use Google Translate. You're asking, is this Grand Arena already? Da, it is. I'm not sure he'll get nerfed, it's not defense. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, I don't think they'll nerf him, because he's offense only, it's sort of like having a broken uh, uh, data cron or something, they just leave it. Surely by now they would have come out and say, uh, Darth Bane is uh, performing better than than intended. They only nerfed him. Either description was wrong or description was right. It was bugged, but then they decided to nerf him. Still, man, to be honest, I prefer to use him this way because if his effects would persist after his death, we would just all the time be using him with Seath Eternal or, or something versus Ray, but like this, you just get more use out of him, more fun. Malky Cell says, the famous FU defense. Oh, I didn't look at the ships. <laughs> That's fine. I am actually... Uh, I got my Plow to relicate during this week. Just because I've been fa facing more and more these kind of defenses. And having Plow Kun at gear 8, you can then use Negotiator versus Executor. But for this week, I don't have that yet. So, I had to go a little bit light on, uh, on uh, ships. Uh, you're welcome, Alexei. Uh, Malky Cell, or they couldn't code. <laughs> I'm a web developer myself, so I do have understanding when you have a complex application. Multiple developers working, coming and going, you know. Uh, things can have consequences when you change on another end somewhere else that you were not aware of. Um... I mean, unit testing was supposed to prevent that, but, you know, the, the, something can always squeeze, squeeze through um, for bugs, but still, I guess their testing procedures could be better. Blokun R8, this is the way, says Queen Voss. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. Uh, Paul Masana says, now I understand why your website looks so nice. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's what I do for a living, so it's my passion doing websites, so I try to make my website, you know, kind of not fancy, just kind of clean looking. Oops, another bug. <laughs> I love your name. The extent to which they release bugs and screw stuff goes the way, be yeah, I know, I know. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Hellscream, I use Finalizer versus Triple Attacker, starting with Silencer, Shutter, Pilot, and Gun Down IG. Yeah, I used to do that before, but it can quickly go sideways, and then, you know, I'd rather have one shot. Oops, another bug. I'm a software engineer too, and if I made that many mistakes, I get fired. Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, it's not that mistake. Look, mistakes happen. It's just having a testing team that captures those bugs and then developers fix them before they're released. That's the only issue, right? That they're releasing bugged units, bugged events. It's, it's, it's not the bugs themselves. Bugs happen, right, with complex applications, but I don't know what their testing procedure is. Because, you know, if you got... Uh, we're getting too technical now. Okay, let's continue with Grand Arena. 
Should we do bottom first? Or should we do ships first? What do you guys think? Ships first or bottom first? What do I have from ships anyway? Yeah, I decided to keep Leviathan for offense because everybody kind of do Chimera and you know. I've got profundity in offense because. I don't know. Uh, I got Chimera. Alright. So we do have, I think, ways to handle the ships. Somebody says bottom first, somebody says sheeps first. Okay, let's do Leviathan. Uh, no, they've got Executor. They got Profundity, and I do have Profundity on my own. I've got a K Chimera. And I've got a Leviathan. Um, we could do Leviathan Mirror based on my latest guide. Because Chimera vs. Leviathan isn't the cleanest. So if you want to maximize banners. But then Profundity Mirrors can get a bit sketchy, right? Whereas if I do Chimera vs. Leviathan. Most likely a one shot, 90% of the time, but a little bit worse banners. Uh, but still Profundity vs. Executor can get sketchy, man. I think I'll do Mirrors. I don't know what else to say. Hmm. Uh, let's see what Chad is saying. Chris says, Levant, Levant and Profundity, Profundity for Exit, Chimera for Levy. I know Profundity versus Executor works most times. Most times. But I did lose in Territory Wars when a Falcon simply refused to assist. Every now and then you get one of those battles. Even one, uh, last season, one opponent, they failed versus my prof uh, versus Executor with Profundity. It does happen. So I'm trying to go what's 100% win. And I think this is as close as 100% wins I think that I'll get. Prof profundity Mara with Bomber. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Thai Bomber with Profundity. Yep. That's exactly. So that's what you're going to do with the ships. What are we doing with the zone? The, with the bottom zones? Somebody mentioned the... Uh, Tuscans versus Hera worked. Queen Voss agrees with the plan with mirrors? Okay. Um, what do we versus... Oh, man. <sighs> Kala versus Dash? Is that gonna be pretty? They don't have Omicro Omicron on Honda. What else would I do versus Hondo? Because like... So we got ships locked down. Alexei says, thank you for all the videos. They really help you to get through all the stupid events. Your site is cool, awesome. Hello from Ukraine. Well, gl glad to see you found it uh, helpful. And... Hello from the UK, although I'm not originally from UK, but I do live here. Um, sit this squad right here. We go in, what do they have? Okay. Enter revive. Oh, they have this damage reflection nonsense. Is that gonna cause any troubles? I don't think I faced this data chrome before. Um, maybe I'm overthinking this, but you know how these data chrones sometimes they just do something stupid. Um, and you just go like, what the hell just happened? Um, you got him and him and him. Okay. So in terms of data chrones, uh, they do have Omi, but they do not have Omi in Hondo. And um, in terms of data crons, 
L3. And they've got the anti-revive, so this will cancel out Night Sisters, I guess. Um, let's go banners. Something that's got more than five battles. Star Killer. Do I have Star? Oh, I do have Star Killer. Fine, we'll do Star Killer then. I'm not even gonna use the Brimla Colorin. It's, it's like every round is like this. Either I don't have a use for Kylo or I don't have loose f use for Jedi Master Luke. Maybe one of them should just go on defense. I don't know. Maybe Jabba the Dash and Kylo the Palp. Uh, I don't trust Kylo versus Palp, man. You can't stand it because of Starkiller. You're going to win, but it's not going to be pretty. Oh, sorry, Lee asked, where is this, this GSC exactly? About third way up of Kyber 1. Um, what's a third way up? I guess I can show you my ranking. That should clear things up. Um, hold on, how do I... I have to go back. Leaderboards. And I just do my ranking, right? Of course, we got all these fake accounts at the top, right? <laughs> oh, is that not it? That could be a real account, though. They've got bow. Okay, that's a real account. Because they got some like these smallish accounts, right? Like, unless they fixed it. Well, maybe they fixed it. I don't know. All right. Oh, that's my ranking. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's what I was talking about. We've got these weird... Speaking of bugs... <laughs> fix your leaderboards, guys! Okay. So, we're talking... Yeah, so I'm 453. Ali. Is that third way... Third way up in K1? I don't know. There we go. 453. And that's my guild right there. 455. Oh, that's much higher than one third, okay. Oops, another bug says, I just live through streamers in K2 right now. My opponents are so much bigger. Well, that means you're a darn good player if you're facing bigger accounts. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Okay. I'm feeling like 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 doing um, sheep's last. That's how I feel right now. I'm not feeling like sheep's just quite yet. Kylo, sixty-four banners. Okay, it's not bad. But Star Killer is better apparently. I mean, banner wise. How is Jabba versus Star Killer? I guess that's the question. Also, I mean, luckily they don't have doubt, right? I will be fine. We'll be fine. Um, because somebody mentioned Tuskus versus Hera. Is that really a thing? Should we just? Check the data just before I do something silly. Tuscans. And then we are facing Hera. With Captain Rex. And... 94%. But how about if I... Take this out. 91%. Hmm. Oh, wait, but I need to add my uh, data crons as well, don't I? Mm. 
I've got the Chieftain one. 100% 64. Okay. Alright, that's good enough for me, guys. 80 battles, 100% win rate. I'll take it. Okay. Just out of curiosity, does the Omicron make a difference? Eh, not really. I mean, we do have a, a Datacron for Tuscans, I guess. Uh, b -b 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 okay, let's see. I have no idea how to play this. I actually don't even know what Phoenix do on defense. I just use them to take down Riva before she got doubt crowd, but... Okay. Well, that's a bit of a scary opening. Um... So, do we go after Rex first, I guess? Uh, let's go ahead and dispel all this junk. Uh, give us some turn meter. Okay. I guess we take out Kanan out first, right? So we stop his healing. Okay, then we try and keep Rex under control. I guess. Oof! Okay. Easy, buddy, easy. That's right, keep hitting. Don't freeze! Oh gosh, man. Oh, playing with Tuscan is always so nerve-wracking. Will the game freeze or not, right? Let's get this Tenacity up off Rex so we can start actually putting some damage over times on him. Mm. Just don't, don't, don't freeze on me, game, please. Okay, here we go. Come on, get him. Get him. He's got tenacity up again. <sighs> Captain Rex as well is like... His kit, some of his abilities are long as well. I don't fully understand what he does yet. That should do it. 65, nice. I'll take that. Um, okay. So that was a good call, whoever suggested that one. <laughs> Oops, another bug. Tuscan on offense is always terrifying to to use due to freezing, right? It is, isn't it? <laughs> Speaking of freezing, should I uh, restart the game? <laughs> Just in case. <sighs> okay. Right. I'll just load up the game again. Now that we're talking about freezing... Okay, just a short break here while the game is starting up. Um, and um, let's do another battle. Um, oh, so let's see, <laughs> just for fun. <sighs> Okay, so what do we want to do here? I guess go after him, I don't know. We're probably gonna lose, but I just want to do one battle to make sure game doesn't freeze. There we go, lock in that armor shred. Uh, sure, give me some of that. Um, just do basics, because we can't ability block them, can we? Um, okay. Come on, 
Almost there. Mm. There we go. Alright guys, take it away if you can, please. Let's see if these guys can handle Sip Eternal. Mind you, in Grand Arena, right? Well, you can't put this on defense anyway. But if you could... Um... Bane would start with a bonus turn and wreck your cooldowns, right? Alright, here we go. Yeah, game seems to be running okay, am I right? Certainly looks so. Okay. Hmm... Let's go back to Grand Arena and continue our battles, I guess. Alright, here we go. So. Hot Cartel, am I right? I actually got my job by laying out to Relicate finally. Um, uh, for the territory battles. I kind of started prior prioritizing Relic Inc. units for territory battles over Grand Arena. I don't know. I know, I know it's silly, but I, I just kind of enjoy doing territory battles more than Grand Arena. Okay. Just, you know, just to be on the safe side, you know. Palpatine. Starkiller, Mara. Who else we got in there? Um, they've got two Omicrons on their Star Killer. Okay, so they don't have the Repulse one. Um, defending Data Cron. Um, I think they have the stacking. No. They've got a level three. Just give me this one, it's fine. Um, and then in terms of Omicrons... They've got this one, and they've got this one. See, that's an interesting one. For me, False Repulse was my second uh, Omicron on Starkiller. I don't know, did, even, did I ever put a Boundless Force Throw on him? I'm not sure. Or heck, just just put all Omicrons on him just to be extra safe. Okay. Job, how are you, buddy? I don't, uh, it's not a hundred percent though. Hold on. Let me get my data crons in. Okay. How? How do you lose with Jabba? That is... I know it's only 3% chance, but still, man, how did you lose with Jabba? You timed out? Should I be worried here, guys? Should I be worried? Is insights worth the money? Seems legit. I don't know. I, I, I have been a patron since I start, started. Maybe like seven years ago I've been a patron. So I've just been a patron of Swaga GG anyway. So I never look at it. Is insight worth it? Because the whole website is worth it for me. Staggers. So, should I be concerned here? I don't know, man. This has me worried now. I do not have Omicron on my Kersantan, because... Oh, without Omicron on Kersantan, is 100%. I don't have Omicron on Kersantan. <sighs> we gotta be fine, right? We're fine, right? We have to be. 
Um, hold on, let's also put a Johan in. And they've got Vsos, I guess. Maybe old Ben with the mind tricks can mess things up. Um, yeah, this is all 100%, okay. I wonder, is then the old Ben messing it up? Yeah, old Ben. If he comes in with the mind tricks and gets out ability blocks, could be dicey, right? But they don't have old Ben, so... Did Loss have Bauschkron? Should do, because I put it in, look. Right? Oh, they've got Kersantan, but... I guess the filtering isn't perfect then, because see, yeah, I chose here Leia, but the loss came from a Kersantan Kron. Okay, that explains it, I guess. Okay. Then just their filtering is not entirely accurate, I guess. Uh, do we want Boba or do we want Embo? I'll put Boba, I guess. Do we want Boba? Maybe. I don't know. What do, what do other people use? Um, nine battles with Boba. Alright, I'm thinking Boba as well. Ambo for the dispel? I guess so. Um, well, Ambo is kind of slow though. Yeah, fine, let's go with Ambo. Uh, okay, so we've got the right data, Crone. And we are good to go here. Alright. Speed don't care about assist, says Omega. That's it. So what do you want to do here? Do we pile on Starkiller? Palp? Mara? Who do we want to pile on? Do we just get buff immunity on her so she doesn't taunt? What do you guys think? What should be the play here? Paul Masana says, Happy they changed the relic requirements for data crons. Yeah, that was huge. Like, before I wouldn't bother getting units to relic 7 just for the level 9 data cron. I just wouldn't bother. To be honest. But relic 5 I can manage. Um, Pile on visas, somebody says. Yeah? Uh, because of the revive. Okay, immunity. Yeah, let's just get Johanny out of this and then we're just gonna say somebody says Visas. I think you're overthinking it says. <laughs> Most likely. Uh, I am overthinking it, yeah. I should just hit autoplay, right? Uh, okay. How about we do it like this? And then just let it fly. Okay. She gonna die or not quite? Uh, let's try and pile on Star Killer a few thermal detonators as well. Uh, let's finish her off. Okay. Uh, sure, give me some of that. Oh man. I should have just hit auto, right? <laughs> I've never done it, right? So that's why I've been overthinking thinking it. Um oh, and here we said we're gonna do Star Killer, right? So I'm not even gonna use Supreme Colorant today. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I could use <laughs> it doesn't work, does it? Uh Okay, we need a light Sadana Land Force user. I CLS, I guess. He'll be better than Visas or not. Hmm. I guess I don't know. And then we need a Jedi. We need a Jedi tank, right? Does Plo Koon give Termeter to all allies or just Jedi? 
Eh, just cloning Jedi allies. Well, that's not good, is it? Could use Johani. Okay. What do we want for Datacron? Scribe says, hey, Scribe, how's it going? Scribe says, half their meter to others. Oh, okay, I'll take half their meter. Thank you for letting me know that, Scribe. Uh, 25% their meter. And he's got a dispel on his basic. That can come in handy, I guess. Oh, man. Datacrons. Do we just... I do have Empire Data Crowns. Maybe go with this. Or I could just go for PU Armor Penetration. Maybe that's a better call. We'll just go for this. Doubt. Well, if I start falling below 100% health, I might be in trouble, right? <laughs> that means I could be in trouble. Um... That's the logic why not going for doubt. Hmm. Fine, let's go with doubt. Hmm, let's go with this one. Alright. One less ground battle to go and then we'll head to the ships. And that's probably when half of people will leave the streams. Stream usually when I hit ships. <laughs> People are just not interested in ships as much. Um, hmm. Uh, Ness is gonna be annoying, won't she? Okay, let's get this taunt off first. Okay. Okay. Let's push back to meter on L3. Alright. Let's get a shock on you. Okay. Um, sure, give me a dispel. And we just have to keep hammering Vander, right? Get the revise out of here. He gone. Um, maybe we can get a stun. Oh, that didn't, that didn't do a whole lot. Okay. Ah, my nest. Let's just get to the ult, right? Um,. Sure, give me some turn meter. Let's get buff immunity in there. Just keep going after Hondo. Just, just keep going, keep going. Come on, one more hit. There we go. Let's get some banners back. And now we gotta deal with Nest. Give me buff immunity. See, I do not have um, this Omicron. Uh, on uh, Star Killer to prevent buff immunity and healing immunity to be to be dispellable. Uh, I prefer the other one that gives that deals more damage for each buff dispelled and it's got an AOE buff dispel. Um, but it's just me. Uh, sure, we we'll just keep going, I guess. Please don't don't tell me we'll time out here. All right, get that get that shock off here. Oh. Uh, Luke, do uh, I brought in Luke and he's removing turn meter. Oh gosh, Luke was a bad call. Will this be a timeout, guys? Why did I bring in Luke? Use Bob's second special? Well, I can do that. She won't get a turn. She's got speed down. <sighs> Why the heck did I bring in Luke, man? Oh, gosh. Okay, she resisted. That's good, right? Oh, 
she got a turn, but what I'm gonna do now, she's still got full protection, guys. Oh! How the heck did Mara just one-shot Nest, man? Whoa! Are you kidding me? Oh, Lee Day. Lee Day says, sorry, I was thinking of leaving when you hit the ships. <laughs> oh, man. Crazy. Crazy, I'm telling you guys. All right, ships. Uh. <laughs> Mara Jade clearly been hitting the gym, right? Yep. Not sure what happened there, but she hit dang hard, man. Okay, so ships. I guess we should do Leviathan first, because that's the one that could be trickiest, maybe? I don't know, man. Alright, so I'm just gonna do... Um, okay, let's do a practice run. In Fleet Arena. Oh, no, I don't need practice. I do this every day, man. Scribe says, Alright, that's Fleet. Everyone, leave quick. That's it, right? <laughs> okay, let's do ships and wrap this up. Hey, Scribe. Thanks for helping out. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, what's their starting lineup? I uh, just the standard one. Okay. Um. Okay. This is normally all what I need. All right, here we go. Let's get the coin flip out of the way, and then we can start doing the battle. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? You or me? You or me? You? Oh, I got it. All right. That usually makes it easier. Okay. Much too basic. Uh, let's get the nasty up. Okay, give me some assists. Couple of dodges in there. Yeah, the seed bomber likes to dodge a lot. Okay. Do the special. Get me an assist. Almost got him. I'm gonna bring in Scimitar. So I can put everybody in stealth. So they can only hit Mark 6 Interceptor. So then they can't get anybody below 100% health, so they don't get the turn meter train rolling. Uh, okay, they got ghost, that's fine, we can deal with that. Uh, let's get you below 100% health. Get you below 100% health. And we'll just keep pounding at Sith Fighter. Okay. There we go, hit him back. Almost there. Come on, one more hit. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oh, I hate that. I hate when this happens. Like, Mark Interceptor comes in with 50 stacks, loses 40 stacks, then in the gains them, and then he can one-shot one arrow, guys. Wow, well, that did snipe some banners for me. Uh, it is what it is, isn't it? It's gonna be a one shot, so would you know what guys I'm not going to complain. Okay, here we go, hit the alt. Okay, <sighs> get you out first. I'll join AoE. There we go. Come on. I'll save the mass assist for Mark 6. There we go. Hit him back. 
Um, sure, give me an AoE. Come on, Phantom. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me a dispel, perfect. Just the basic will do. Basic over here. Some of that. Okay, just, just go away. Thank you. There we go. Hmm. Should have been a 74. But this, I don't know, it's just weird, right? Because I see this in a fleet arena every day. Mark 6 comes in. Obviously can't be destroyed because it's got these stacks. I get that. Comes in with 50 stacks. Loses 40. Goes down to 10 stacks. And then it goes back up to 50 stacks right next turn. It's just weird. Is it bugged? Working as intended? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Um... Uh, let's do a mirror match. Whoa, what happened here? Let's go back out. <laughs> Omega says, I think it gets stacks on the first turn, not reinforcements. Okay. All right, fine. Thank you for the explanation, guys. That makes sense, then. Clever part, I guess, on my opponent's side. Uh, what do we want with reinforcements? And then we just need a bomber, right? Actually, no. Um, I'm gonna do it like this. No, bigs. Yeah, that's bigs, right? Chris says, I'm sick of getting days with reinforce. I know, right? They have to do it, because otherwise so many ships would steamroll them if they wouldn't have days. So we got Profundity, we got Hans Falcon, not Ray Falcon, we got Iron Rider, Rebel Wing, we got Biggs, and we got Tie Bomber, right? Yeah, alright. Okay. Are you ready for some more coin flipping? Will my Falcon assist or not? Will their Falcon assist or not? 50-50, guys. We love those 50-50 chances, don't we? No ghost? No, I don't need ghost. Mm. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's get this going. Okay, that's fine. Okay, they're getting assists. Can I get some assists? Of course not. Um... Yeah, just keep keep going, guys. Come on. Oh man, they're gonna... Hmm. Okay, well... That's the RNG for you guys. They were getting good assists and I was not. They got a dodge there. Rough start. Start very rough to begin with. Uh, they're getting the first reinforcement out. That's okay. We're about to flip this around. Alright, good. Um, sure, we'll just do this, I guess. Okay, now we gotta go after you. See, look, I'm get, I'm originally getting no assist with Falcon, man. Can I get an assist already? Sheesh. Alright, give me a turn over here. Give me more ultimate charge, please, and thank you. Give me some of this. Falcon, would you mind? Look. Falcon, assist, buddy. It's okay. You're allowed to assist, okay? Man, I'm literally, literally getting the worst RNG with assist today. Well, let's bring in another tank. Uh, give me a target lock. Or not. Dude, I'm getting... S I'm getting wrecked here. Come on. 
<sighs> I'm still so far from the ultimate. Just because I'm not getting any darn assists. Come on. Come on. Falcon, are you kidding me? <sighs> just just one more turn, guys. One more turn. Come on. Why am I not going to assist? Dude, this is not looking good, guys. I'm literally getting no assist with my Falcon. And they're totally wrecking me, look. Yeah, just get him out. He's useless anyway. <laughs> oh, gosh dang it. Just don't tell me they've got ultimate ready. Just don't tell me they've got ult. Oh, now you assist. Okay, alright. We're good, we're good. We got ultimate, then they don't. Oh, man. Alright. Fine. Just, just, just finish them. Dude, man. Okay, sure, I just... Look, the Falcon just does not assist, man. Am I blind? Is my, is my Falcon dazed, guys? Is my Falcon dazed or what? This is ridiculous, man. Sheesh. <sighs> Alright. We got we got a one shot. Not the prettiest. Not the cleanest. We got it. There we go. 69. We got it. See, the good thing is, if I would have done this is versus Executor, I'm not getting any assists. You're getting wrecked. At least with Profundity, Thigh Bomber slows them down, right? At least that. Anyway, one shot. We got out of here alive. Uh, hold on, what's the... What's the um... um... All right, so we got a 69 here. And was it a 72 here, I believe? I think so. So, hold on. What's the lineup here? I always forget. I don't do this counter often. Um, okay. So, okay, we do... TIE Fighter... Is that the lineup? Yeah, okay. And then we bring you, you, you. Okay, so what do we do? Uh, we're going after IG. Sorry guys, it's just not something I do often. Okay, we try to take IG down if we can. Then we get dodges. They take down TIE Fighter or not. That depends. We bring in. Try to get him down. We do a dispel. All right, here we go. Okay, cool. I think I got it. <laughs> Scribe says, I love that I'm not the only one who forgets stuff. Yeah. So much stuff. So many videos, man. So many different counters. Um, Holy Dog. Yeah, that was a lucky RNG fest there. Lee Dehe says, who's that young looking guy in the video? Uh, it's, uh, three months younger me, I guess. I don't think that video is actually that old. Okay, we got Chimera. Uh, we got TIE Fighter. We got, okay, let's go. Lee Day says, Every month I have to watch the Profanity Guide video. Always forget it. <laughs> okay, hold on. So we do a special on IG, right? Oof, that was a big hit. It was a Relic 5 IG, I guess. Okay, we did lose a guy, but so did they, so did they, so that's fine. It is what it is, right? Well, I guess we have to stun Razor Crest now. Now that IG's down. 
Okay, no assist for you. Get me a nice dispel. And we'll try and get you down before things go out of hand. Oh man, this is not looking too hot right now, guys. Um, this is not looking hot right now. All right, we got a dispelling. All right, all right, all right hold on, hold on. Ah. Fine, give me an AOE. Come on. Oof, oof. Get him. All right, all right, we got this, I think. Ooh, who do we fix up? Mm. Let's fix up Vader. Mm. Who do I go for the stun? Uh, let's do basic. Give me some foresight. Okay. What they've got for us. Okay. Hmm. I don't like it. I don't like all these counter-attacks. Can't get target lock on him. Can't crit him. Hmm. Maybe I'll just heal up. Get a stun. Okay, good. Give me a dispel. Finish you. Not quite. Will that do it? Yeah, that did it. Alright. 70. Not bad. And the final score is... 18.25. I mean... Could I have played any better? I don't think so. You just... Here in Profanity we lost... I don't know, free banners-ish. I mean, overall, the ship battles, the RNG wasn't the greatest. So maybe I lost on ships, maybe seven, eight banners. Um, I misplayed their uh, Malgus versus Dar uh, Moff Gideon, right? I lost like eight banners. So if I wouldn't have misplayed, then RNG would be what I consider normal for ships. I would have been an 1840. So, plenty, plenty of wiggle room for my opponent today. But as mentioned before, today is not about winning. It's about just having some fun with you guys here on live stream because of having a rare opportunity to face one of my guildmates, uh, Dark Tibus. Shout out to him, to my guild, Green Alliance. Um, and we'll guess we'll have to wait and see who wins. It does not matter. I think we had fun, right? At least I think so. We had some ups, we had some downs, we had good RNG, we had bad RNG. We had some misplays along the way, but we were able to one-shot everything at this point, so... You know, at least if you one-shot, you give yourself a chance to win, I guess. Okay! Uh, see what's going on in the chat. Um, Chris says, entertaining stream bit, glad to hear. Uh, no drops. Yeah, no drops there. Scribe Gaming says, Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Yeah, banner lost. Yeah. Still a good score. Says a, a Buffle Teddy. I mean, it's okay. Like, 18, 18 20 above is an okay score. Unless you get into efficiency matches, which I don't know. Uh, Chris says, Enjoy the weekend, everybody. You as well, Chris. Lee enjoys my live stream. Glad to hear it. Um, I'll try. I try to do them as often as I can, but sometimes real life just gets way too busy. All right, scribe. Have a good weekend as well, and everybody else. Thank you for joining. I will see you on Monday's challenge video, and don't forget, on Monday we have a brand new conquest starting. So as usual, I'll be churning out uh, my conquest video guides every day. 
from Monday to Friday. So hopefully, uh, you know, overall, I would say that um, the feats in this upcoming conquest don't look that terrible as the last few runs. So I think it's going to be less grindy. That's at least what I think. Anyway, guys, once again, thank you for joining. Have a nice weekend and, you know, may the RNG be with you when you play your Grand Arena. So, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.